Washington Elementary School District is cutting ties with a long-standing teacher-student program with the Arizona Christian University. This move comes as the private university files a lawsuit against the district. Within a matter of hours, hundreds of former educators, lawmakers, and parents showed up to the district school board meeting to voice their concerns. ABC 15's Vent Blandin was at that meeting. Vent. Of the hundreds of people who showed up outside this district office, Javier, district leaders let 80 people inside the boardroom. Only 32 of those people signed up to speak to board members. Now, during the hour long public comment section, most of the people who talked to the board members spoke against their decision to end an 11 year partnership with Arizona Christian University. I used Have to be very proud to work for the Washington Elementary School District. I am no longer proud to work for here. Barbara Harris is a teacher who's decided to retire from the district. She admits the district offered her a position for next year. But the board's decision to break from a deal to use student teachers from Arizona Christian University made her quit. I don't like what the board is doing. What they're doing is not good for kids. It's not good for teachers. They're not thinking about teachers. They're not thinking about administration. Last month, the board ended its current five year deal, which operated on a yearly renewal basis. This year was the last on the contract. Arizona Christian University filed a lawsuit Thursday claiming the board cut ties based on religious discrimination against the university. Supporters of the board believe the vote came down to business. You know, a contract was coming to end and it lapsed and they decided not to renew it. And so that's their complete right to do. And if they did it because it doesn't align with the district's values, then that's also within their right to do. ABC 15 confirmed the board accepted the resignations of nearly two dozen staffers Thursday but could not confirm the reasons for all. State Senator Anthony Kern from the 27th Legislative District stands with all who resigned in protest of the board's vote. He went to the meeting with his own message for board members. I'm gonna tell them point blank that I will support their resignations. I will support a recall election. I will support three of their board seats are gonna be up in the next election in 2024. I will support every one of them being voted out. Some of the board members chose to respond tonight after people got done talking at the podium. And for the most part, the people who did respond, they told everyone in the room, quote, the board cut ties with bigotry from an institution and not an individual. Reporting live in Phoenix, Vincent Blandon, ABC 15, Arizona.